Adam, um, last time I spoke to you, you were down in the dumps, look at you, you said the club's taking the mick out of us, yeah. when's he going to go, etc. <laughs> I don't know if they listened to you, but they made the change, the managerial change, and since then, obviously we've beaten Cardiff 5-1 and then Huddersfield here, respectively 3-1. Are you, you happy with that? I mean, two weeks ago, mate, we were what we were licking our wounds, having been battered by Liverpool, mm. shambles, and then 11 points off top four. Manager change. Two weeks later, we're five points off top four. We're mm. plus seven goal difference in two games. We've just been on zero all season. Just one, one decision like that. I remember when the news broke on the Tuesday. <laughs> you text I was, me. I text <laughs> you straight away. I'm like, oh my god. I spoke to our kid at work. I said, oh god, they've, they've got to get this right now. I mean, this is the biggest decision the club's mm. ever. Do you think they were to right make. to? When you when you heard it was Oli coming in, be honest. What what was your what was your initial reaction? Was you like Oli? Where's that come from? Could you just assume it would go to Carrick, or can can you see, you know, the the, the logic and the thinking behind that that move? Yeah, I honestly thought it was going to be like Carrick. Like I said before, I thought it was just going to be an internal thing. The season we're too far away now, but I mean, straight away, as soon as he said it, and it was like <laughs> it was uh, Oli. You have a one-way race back to your relegation. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it wasn't so much the Ollie, it was the Mike Freeland alongside him as well. That, that, do you know what, that excited. move, how, how underrated yeah. is, is that, yeah. you know, he was here through Sir Alex's greatest times at this club. Yeah. How, much, how much do you think that, 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 that what a big, you know, thing that is getting him in behind, with him well, alongside it's, him? It's the Manchester blood, isn't it? It's like having, the, it's like having a five litre V8 engine. If you don't put the right oil inside, it's not going to run right, mm. is it? It's, it's, it was, you could see exactly what they were doing with it and I didn't think this lot upstairs had it in them to make a decision like that but Ole, yeah, I could see that, it's a smile on your face but then Mike Freeland coming in next to him was nearly just as important as bringing Ole back in mm. straight away. It was just, like you said, my instant reaction was just smiling, I was just happy, I was just like... And then as soon as he set off against Cardiff last week it was like, oh yeah. You could see the difference. That was yeah. it, straight away, depressing, because today wasn't easy. Today, they made us work for that today. Yeah. It wasn't fantastic. And we still stuck at it, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We had to dig that out. And in a way, that's probably even a little bit better than the Cardiff game because we had to work at it. Yeah. We're missing players up there today. Our shelves are missed today. We've still got Sanchez to come back yet. Players there that we didn't have much on the bench in terms of forward players going yeah. to change it. And he still brought on Gomez. You know, 3 0, he goes, Look, son, take your bib off. Angel Gomez, get, get yourselves on. Do you think that's the sort of change we could have seen under Mourinho at 3 0 up? No, he's got no chance. Them players were, they were never ever getting there. I mean, Pereira couldn't even get in the squad. Yeah. And he's straight away, he's in there. Fred's in there straight away. Mm. Pereira's in there. More dynamic midfielders. I mean, he's even made Matic look half decent. <laughs> Matic's little, little, little flicks and turns. Oh, God. I'm just like, he, he was going nowhere under Mourinho. And I was, I was slagging him off every week. But mm. it's, uh, I think Mark said it the other day. Matic has got a quick thinking football brain, but his body's just lacking behind him a little bit. But. Yeah. Straight away, you can see it when we're pressing the ball. It's it's just a different team. We're winning it back high. When there's a point in the half, uh, in the second half, there we had about eight players in there half when they had the ball. I there's no like that intent to get the ball back quickly and and, and regain it, possession is I was there. Talking to uh, our kid at the side, and he said, "What if they've been foul? It wasn't a foul." I said, "No, it was offside. Yeah. They were offside about ten yards into our <laughs> half. That's how high up we were. Mm. That's the difference. It's just a completely different ball game. It's not so much." A style of play. It's mm. the intent. It's there. You, the pressing, the winning the ball back, the fighting for each other. Pogba's running everywhere, covered every blade of grass today. But again, it's just Adam. If he does well, if if oh, no, it, me now. if no. he does do well, say he gets us top four. <laughs> yeah, when when you know a lot of us thought top four was gone. We all talk about Pochettino. We all talk about Zidane. All these top managers, Jardim, whatever, whatever. Mm. If Oli does get us playing great football, great results, you know, we've got the, top, the rest of the top five to come here, we beat them mm. and we, we, you know, we finish third. Let me just paint the picture. Yeah. Do we have a decision to make there or is it, no, let's go with a, uh, an experienced manager, go for Poch, go for that, Or do we go, no, do you know what, Oli, he's got the players playing, we've managed to finish third, why not? Well, I mean, Pep had to come from somewhere, didn't he? They, mm. He came through Barcelona's system. I mean, Zidane was managing reserves at Real Madrid before he came through into the first team. Mm. Maybe we've tried. We've tried bringing in the big names here after Ferguson left, mm. and it's not worked. Mm. It's not worked. You maybe we just need like a familiar face who gets the club someone, inside out. Someone with the blood. I mean, it might work. You yeah. just you just don't know because obviously it's only been two games. So exactly, I'm just I'm just yeah. painting the picture. If like you said, and yeah. they did start beating the big teams at Old Trafford yeah, yeah. here, and we went away to say the Emirates, yeah, yeah. and we got a result, then you've got to start taking note. Yeah. You really do. I mean, everyone has to start somewhere, and obviously. It's like I said before, the big managers all started somewhere. They came through from their systems. Mm. You know what I mean? 
Whenever the manager Ollie. came in at Barcelona, their style of play didn't change. Mm. Whenever it came in at Madrid, they changed. They, they carried on the same. They've now brought someone in and told him, this is how you're going to play. And he mm. knows how United play. This is what it had to be from the start. This is where we went wrong, why we're five years behind now. When we brought Moyes in, mm. tried to change United. Van Gaal tried to change United. Mourinho tried to change United. Mm. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is United. Mike Phelan is United. Mm. It's the DNA. So really, we didn't need to look too far from, no, from home, we really? We didn't. I mean, we tried to do it with Moyes, didn't we? It was yeah. the biggest mistake we ever <laughs> made. But it is simple as that. You've, you've, just, it, you've just got to look at it and say, look, Put the right people in the right places yeah. and the style of football will just carry on. Man of the match today? I know I've heard Pogba's going to get the headlines, two goals, Matt's a bit brilliant skill, but unsung hero today for me is Rashford was fucking immense today for me. He's, he has come on so much over these last, these last few months, even under Mourinho, his work rate, he just took it upon himself, to even under happen. Mourinho, to yeah. make it happen. And he was holding on to that ball. He's getting battered from pillar to post. If it was Lukaku in them positions, it'd be flying off everywhere. But yeah. he's holding on to that ball and bringing people into play. And I'm just excited to see when, like, Martial comes back again, Sanchez even coming back in and linking again. And the wavelengths going forward there. Fred Pereira mixing it up, coming through. Herrera as well. Mm. You've got so much options and so much to look forward to now. Hopefully we're just going to in a different way. Everyone's a man of the match today, pretty much, just because of the style of football and the way we played. Listen, man. I'm an happy man. Have a great new year. <laughs> you're, you're happy, aren't you? I'm happy, yeah. I'm <laughs> I'll happy see you soon, man. See you in a couple of days. Nice.